Hey guys, I've got a quick video from my good friend, John Reinhardt. He's gonna be talking today about how you build 360 degree photography that can really highlight and really enhance your listings in so many different ways on social media, on different platforms that you're using. And he walks you through some of the tools, some of the hardware, and some of the techniques that he uses to create amazing photography for listings. So check it out. He's one of my favorite team members here at my company, and I think he can give you some great ideas. Uh, today I wanted to touch on the topic of 360 photography. Now 360 photography is pretty cool. It offers a lot of different options for uh, posting to Facebook, uh, creating virtual media links for your SOMLS, and even going live for your virtual open houses. Uh, there's a lot of different levels though for, for 360 photography, ranging all the way up to full Matterport 3D models, which I'll, I'll touch on at the very end of this video. Uh, but uh, the first option though would be just creating a panorama on your smartphone. Uh, a lot of you have probably already done this before, but uh, there's a few tips and tricks that I wanted to go over uh, to create a better looking image that people would maybe want to engage with on, on social media. Uh, so first thing would be to open up your smartphone uh, and get a tripod. Uh, I, a lot of tripods uh, now come with uh, phone inserts, but you may have to buy one separately. Uh, and then go to your panorama option and just go around the room as smoothly as possible. Some of you may be able to do this handheld, but uh, I definitely recommend a tripod so you avoid a lot of stitching errors uh, and it creates a cleaner looking image. Uh, second option would be to get a 360 camera. Now 360 cameras are pretty cool because they got two lenses. Uh, 360 cameras though, they don't only get that one narrow band for, for panoramas, but they also get the ceiling, they get the carpet, they get everything. Uh, now, this one I have right here is the Xiaomi Mi Sphere. Uh, it's uh, regarded as probably one of the higher photo quality cameras, uh, which it does come with some auto settings for you guys, so don't worry about that. As you can see on your screen right now, I'm kind of scrolling around uh, Lower Table Rock. I took this a few weeks ago, uh, but you can kind of actually look for yourself and engage. Uh, and this even offers the, the ability to switch to a stereoscopic view uh, and view it as uh, a virtual reality headset. Uh, so if you wanted to go in and uh, take a picture of the living room, uh, then the, your buyer could actually feel like they're, they're in the house. But there are a lot of 360 cameras out in the market right now, so I wanted to go over a few options for you guys, uh, specifically for streaming uh, your virtual open houses in 360. Uh, my recommendations would be to check out the Insta360 camera attachments. Uh, these attach to either iPhone or Android devices. I'll drop links in the in the comments below. But uh, I highly encourage you guys to check them out because for the user or, or for the people checking out the open house, it kind of provides them the opportunity to scroll around and uh, look for themselves. Uh, when you're when you're streaming it, uh, they don't actually you don't actually even have to be in the room. Uh, you can kind of just move it room to room, maybe spend five minutes in a room, move it to the next one, uh, and they can kind of check it out for themselves. Uh, this is super awesome because it's less work for you. You can kind of just let, let them roam. But I did want to go over a few tips and tricks as far as live streaming your virtual open houses as well. Uh, I would get a monopod tripod uh, that uh, you can attach your phone to. Uh, that way... Uh, there's not so much movement around. Uh, streaming in 360 is a little bit different because uh, you're not pointing it, you're not changing directions. It's uh, They get to do it all themselves. So uh, I would definitely set the camera in the center of the room, probably around eye level, uh, so they can kind of just view it uh, like how they would be if they were standing in, uh, standing in the room. Uh, transitioning now though to uh, other things you can do with 360 cameras would be uh, stepping it up to even the Matterport level. There's a really cool website called Coupix.com uh, that offers even a free account to where you can take 360 photos uh, and create a 3D model out of it. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, if this is at all helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.